Hey guys, Dean here. Today we're going to be on Terraria back again for another tutorial on Terraria. It's been a long time since we played Terraria. And today I'm going to be showcasing how you can use Vein Miner as the mod in T Mod Loader specifically so we can mine stacks and stacks of ores at once for convenience. So let me jump into it. So basically, to use T Mod Loader, you need to download it on Steam first of all, presumably that you have it. If you don't have it already, then you can check out my tutorial in the description, link down below, how to install Terraria, T Mod Loader, and mods with it, which will show you exactly how to do that and once you have it installed in your steam library go to the steam workshop in the library and in the steam workshop we can subscribe to mods although the best version to do this is to do it in game but we're just going to search for vein miner right and we have this new version or excavator now this is the new version of vein miner that works on terraria t mod loader 1.4 because for anyone who doesn't know the long-awaited 1.4 t mod loader has actually been released okay it's not an experimental beta anymore it's a full release so all the mods are basically being update to 1.4 it's like a gold rush and this is the official version so or excavator is the official 1.4 port of vein miner as the original was discontinued so this is for 1.4 and it's been merged into or excavator so basically vein miner allows you to mine adjacent walls and tiles from a single block and have a configurable whitelist and blacklist so we can select which blocks are affected okay so think of this like vein miner in minecraft where you mine one piece of gold ore and for example seven or eight other connecting pieces get mined all at once just to basically save you some time and for convenience to basically mine a lot quicker and gather resources a lot faster than in the vanilla game okay so we have multiplayer support full modded support and we have auto swing and progression friendly okay so all you do is subscribe to this i've already subscribed but i'm just going to unsubscribe and subscribe and then just run t mod loader and i'll show you how to enable it in game and how to fully configure it and then i'll show you an example of it being in use let's go ahead and run t mod loader in steam and get this loading now i think t mod loader by default now actually installs the 64-bit version i think correct me if i'm wrong but we shouldn't get those annoying crashes like we used to in the older versions on 32-bit if you have too many mods loaded okay because manually you needed to install 64-bit version offline and replace your files to get t mod loader functioning as it should do so hopefully we don't have those problems anymore but let's boot up terraria shall we boys and now we have terraria okay so in terraria pretty simple stuff we're just going to go ahead in t mod loader specifically this won't work with normal terraria go down to workshop which is where all the mods are i think it used to be called mods in the older versions not quite sure go down to workshop and then we want to click manage mods okay but if you didn't install it the method that i showed you initially a few moments ago you can also install it in game you just go to download mods and you'd wait for the mod browser to basically update all the mods in the library and ping the server for all the mod downloads and then what you do is you just type in vein miner and auto excavator would come up you can check out the more info here to read about the mod and there would usually be an install button but i've already installed it now then to run the mod you click on manage mods okay and it'll show all the mods you have over here now usually this will be disabled right so you just click enable here and then it would usually require a reload of your game or a reload basically to get it working in game but what we can also do is click on open config now we can do this in game but i'm just going to show you for the purposes of this right now because it's a little bit more easier and you can change all the features of the mod so do you want to show the excavation tooltip so when we press our keybind to activate it it'll show us like a little tool tip to show us that it's actually working you don't want to disable that because it's just more convenient we can change all these different things we can scroll down we can change all the alternate features we can go down to client settings so this is a whitelist right so which blocks are going to work on vein miner so iron copper gold silver all these ores are going to be affected by a vein miner okay all these ores and gems because that's mainly what it's for it's a mining specific mod and it also works for walls i believe if we use a hammer which is really useful and we have settings down here for block swap okay so join a world to edit server settings so you can also edit server settings in the same way so this is pretty useful and you can also select the arrows at the bottom to go through the config to the other section of it and as you can see this is the server config if you press the arrow and this is a client config now we don't want to mess with the server config because we're not actually running a server we can actually blacklist blocks here by clicking enable the blacklist we can edit with the creative mode and we can edit a few different server settings which we don't really need to mess with at all if we're in single player so now the mod's being loaded let's go ahead and i already have a vein miner world actually so i'm just going to run that there's no point of me creating another one i made a journey mode world already for this just out of convenience so right now it's night time this is a little bit annoying so i'm just going to enable the light hack and we're going to put this to 100 percent so i can see in the night time a lot of people ask me how i actually put it on fulbright mode before i initially used a mod in the older videos but now i just use journey mode because it lets us do this so now we're going to find some ore right to show you in action so i'm just going to kill all these zombies 
these because they're really annoying. Now, I have actually wiped out the majority of ores in this world, so it may take me a few moments to actually find a considerable amount of ores. It's usually best if you find a full stack, but I'm just going to quickly mine down here just to show you how this thing works, right? So over here, we have some ores. Now, I've already keybinded this in game. I'm actually going to show you how you bind this, right? Let me just enable God mode down here in journey mode and press settings. And then what you want to do is go to controls. And in controls, if we scroll all the way down in Tmod Loader, we have a mod control section, okay? So mod controls let us set a key bind. The one we want to set here specifically is all excavator excavate while mining. So click on here, press the desired key you want to hold. Mine's mouse four, which is one of my side buttons. And then press back. And then when we hold mouse four or whatever button you've selected, it says excavating near our pickaxe, right? To show that we're actually using it. So that's how we activate the excavation mode and use vein miner. So now I'm going to show you it in practice. Let's mine down here. So as you can see, with this ore, I think this is tungsten or something. Oh, it's tin, okay. I can mine one block at once, right? Which is really monotonous. And that's just the standard game. But if we hold excavate, our key, and then mine, it mines all of them at once. So look how convenient that is. Especially when you're down in a mine where you've mined down for so many blocks and you find huge, huge ore veins. This is so convenient. Look, just mine that whole thing at once and then collect everything. This makes the mine experience way better in Terraria. So let me just show you that a little bit more. I mean, you already kind of get the idea of it right now. And it's as simple as that to install Vein Miner, okay? All you need is T Mod Loader. There might be some methods to install this on the normal game without T Mod Loader because there's some pretty cool tools. But I'm pretty sure you can't install this as a client mod on those. So you do need to use the method which I'm showing you. But this is honestly a lifesaver, okay? I kind of wish they had some kind of feature like this in normal Terraria. I mean, they have some amazing pickaxes that do more mining speed and stuff, but it's just not the same. Now we're talking. Okay, let's mine these. So over here, we have some more. We have lead ore which it works for works for pretty much any ore in the game right so even if we're down in the nether okay that's my minecraft mind speaking it's not called the nether in terraria even when we're down in the hell world we basically have hellstone ore for an example this works on that too so all of the high tier ores i'm pretty sure it even works on meteorite too so if you're basically using those really high tier ores to collect it's going to work on all those as well this has been how to use vein miner in terraria how to install it via t mod loader if you have any questions in the comments below do let me know if you need any help with anything i will try and get back to you like the video and subscribe for more Terraria and Minecraft on the channel, and I'll see you next time.